Hi guys, Vanessa here. We are back with another YouTube video. Sorry that Wednesday's video was delayed. Here we are doing a old school, throwing it back to old YouTube with a what's in my makeup bag. So I have this clear Victoria's Secret makeup bag. It's a really old makeup bag actually. Um, but I like this clear bag because I get to see everything that's in the bag. And yes, if you're wondering, it does seal. If you continue watching, you'll see it's closed when I start this video. <laughs> But yes, I do like to see what's in my bag instead of digging and digging. But without further ado, if you guys would like to see what's in my makeup bag or everyday makeup bag, then just keep on watching. Okay, so jumping right in, this is an actual Victoria's Secret makeup bag. Very old. The reason why I like this bag is because instead of like reaching in your bag and seeing what comes out, you can just easily open it up. And yes, I do always have it packed like this. Um, well, it's mostly open, but you get it. Um, I like to see what I'm reaching for when I actually open up my bag. So, going in first, I have my um, moisturizer that I carry. I do love this moisturizer. I believe this was actually my January favorites. Um, I applied it already off camera. And then... And then also what I applied already to my brows because I do have backups outside of this bag is my Morphe Clear Brow Gel. I actually mentioned this also in my February favorites just the, just this past month about how much I love this Clear Brow Gel. It's only $6 and I did apply that already because I'm a little insecure about having nothing on the brows. But going in with my next brow product is my brow gel. I'll quickly fill them in. I naturally have pretty um, decent brow. Have, I naturally have decent brows, so I'm just going to quickly fill in the missing gaps. So just like that. Next thing I'm going to grab is my Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Mist. I like to apply this after I moisturize my face because it gives me extra moisture. I love this mister. It feels so good. And then for, I think that's it for Prime. Oh, and then one more thing. I have this Clinique. This is the Moisture Surge Eye. This primarily is just a under eye serum. I grab a little drop and I rub it between my fingers and then I just apply it to my under eyes. Um, this is just basically supposed to moisturize the face and give you that filler effect. I'm not sure if it gives me like an intense filler effect, but it does help with puffiness. So I guess it just helps the appearance of tired eyes. So I like applying that for foundation. So for foundation, I carry two things with me at all times. Um, I like a powder foundation and then I like a liquid foundation, depending on how the weather and all that. I do like to kind of make my decision then. I've talked about this. I love this guy. I'm sure you're tired of seeing this all over social media, but I do like um, my Rare Beauty foundation. I spoke about how much I like this in a favorites, I believe. I think my January favorites. And then the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. So I don't think I've ever um, used this on camera besides my review and my first impressions. So I'm going to make it quick and easy with this guy. You have seen me use this guy many times. So with powder foundation, this guy, I love it because it has a mirror and then it has a sponge. I also carry a damp beauty blender, which I actually damped before filming this because I didn't know if I was gonna go in with the liquid foundation, but I carry this little cage. They sell um, one by Beauty Blender at Sephora, so that's also another option. Oh, one more thing before I go in with my foundation. I do like to use my Pixi Brightening Corrector. This is for the under eyes. I do apply this over foundation if it's liquid, but since we're going in with powder, I must put this on now. And like that, I'm all done. Okay, now ready for foundation. If you guys are gonna see this true foundation magic. Like that. So full coverage. Okay. It's so easy. I even bought one of these for my diaper bag. 
because I'm always on the go. And if it's one thing I can carry with me, it's this on those days that I want to cover up any acne marks or discoloration on the face. Okay, now I'm going to apply some of my watermelon glow mist. So I want to add back moisture. This is optional. If you like a matte finish, you don't have to do this. I just like to kind of give it back some life. Okay, going in with my next product in the bag, I'm gonna pick up my Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics bronzer and blush palette. This is actually a new product for me and if you weren't aware, um, I think I mentioned on social media that I was doing a safe little getaway, like a staycation almost, um, like 45 minutes from my um, city. I went to Temecula to enjoy the winery outdoor seating and then um, took a little road trip. So I did pack this because it is a newer product to my collection. But the only thing I didn't mention in that um, review, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics review, is that I love how luxe and heavy it feels. I still stand by that. It's very sturdy, it's very solid. The only thing I don't like is how thick, it's a little bulky. As you notice when it's in here, it's taking much of the space. Some other recommendations I do have if you want sleeker packaging and also that little duo situation is the Alamar Cosmetics Bronzer Complexion uh, Palettes. They have like two uh, bronzers and then like a highlight powder. Really nice and sleek, I do like this. It's a little bit um, sleeker, lightweight. Of course, it's just cardboard packaging, but really nice um, by Alamar Cosmetics. She's a woman brand owner, and then also she has blushes that are really nice. They're one of my favorites, but like I mentioned, since this was a newer product to my edition and I do like it, I did take it. So I'm gonna go with my bronzer. Really smooth and buttery. Don't really have to try hard. So, this is like my favorite part of makeup is the bronzer. I love bronzer. I feel like bronzer and brows are like my two favorite things in a makeup routine. How about yours? Uh, let me know in the comments. I just like how much bronzer can change the shape of your face. And it just gives you that nice glow that sun kiss glow okay i'm getting bronzer okay. happy now going in with the blush i like to apply it on top of the bronzer almost to give me that lifted cheek effect something new i've been doing and i see a difference so that's cool so that's definitely something i've been doing next thing of course I was happy to get these products, so I packed my Jaclyn Hill highlighter. This is in the shade Sparks. And I love this color. I did order Iced because it looks like a more champagne-y, um, pinky shade, kind of like Champagne Pop. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know the comparison once I receive it in the mail. So that's that. Then we're almost getting to the bottom. So, concealer. <laughs> I forgot the concealer. Well, I didn't go the liquid foundation route. So, you can apply this on top of your corrector, the concealer, and then apply the powder foundation, of course. This is my favorite. This is the e.l.f. Hydro Camo Concealer. Concealer? Concealer. Um, this is really nice. It's a very affordable concealer. It's replaced my high-end ones for the everyday. Oh, I guess I put the brow gel back in here. Okay, and then last but not least, mascara. Best mascaras, hands down. This is my combo. I don't know why I gravitate to using two mascaras. Is that excessive? Maybe, but I love the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. It's a cult favorite. Um, I have it in the mini because I received it as a gift. So what better way than to put it in your everyday makeup bag? And then I have, this is actually a new discovery, but I love. This is a Revlon Bad, Big Bad Lash Mascara. And I'll show you the wand to this. It's very nice. 
very fluffy. I don't like plastic wands really. I don't gravitate towards them. I like the natural wands. So this is nice. Then we got this nice big mirror in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Jaclyn Cosmetics. Okay, so what I like to do, so the reason why I like this one is, let me show you. Did I just, yeah, did I? Okay, let me show you. I thought I got um, mascara on the top of my lid. And then I got it there, but I can always wipe it with my Q-tip. So I leave it at that. And then I'm going to grab my Better Than Sex Mascara. I hardly wear lashes because I find that with the right mascara, mascaras, you can get a nice, almost a false lash effect. Look at that. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to do the other eye really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just applied more of my Watermelon Glow Recipe. Watermelon Glow Recipe. No, no, no. I just applied more of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. Watermelon Mist. Um, just goes to show how much it can transform your makeup if your makeup is dry or you're feeling a little bit cakey. Um, I like more that dewy skin effect. So especially if you have dry skin, just goes to show the power of a good dewy setting spray and then that completes the look only one thing left in my bag I'm going to use my lip liner I often use my lip liner as a lipstick it's just something that doesn't transfer so much on my mask so this is Morphe this is Morphe sweet tea really good brown nude lip liner mm, favorite lip liner and that is one of my favorites. I'm going to take a sip of my bubbly. Best, best, best flavor is cherry. I'm not going to say who because I'm not a snitch like that. But an influencer spoke about my favorite freaking flavor, which is cherry bubbly. And now Amazon Fresh doesn't have it. It's out of stock. So now I have to go to the grocery store just to get my cherry bubbly. Just saying. Um, really good. So if you haven't tried, try it. Um, that completes this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys made it this far. I hope you guys enjoyed this old school taking it back old YouTube. The reason I do this is because I do have kids. I like to already have a pile of makeup, like a full face of makeup in a bag that I can easily grab instead of going through what I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like old school videos like this so I know to create more in the future if you guys like it. Um, so don't forget to like. And also don't forget to follow me on IG because I do ask you guys for your feedback and I ask you guys what you guys would like to see next. I do like question polls and I also share with you guys my favorites. Um, so don't forget to follow me on IG. I will have a link down below in the bottom description. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I will definitely have another video for you guys very soon. Bye. Love you guys.